Figure AI just dropped something that has the entire robotics world absolutely losing their minds. And trust me, after you see what's coming, you're going to understand why. This isn't just another robot reveal. This is Figure 03, and it might be the moment humanoid robots go from science fiction fantasy to your actual living room reality. So buckle up, because what I'm about to show you is genuinely mind-blowing. Figure AI dropped the trailer of Figure 03, and it hit social media like a bomb. 48 seconds of pure robotic evolution that's already racked up hundreds of thousands of views. And here's what makes this different from every other robot teaser you've seen. Figure A. I isn't just making incremental improvements. They're showing us a machine that looks less like a mechanical nightmare and more like something you'd actually want in your home. The visuals are sleek, futuristic, and captivating, with a design that draws you in without crossing into uncanny territory. Let me paint you a picture of what's actually new here, because the upgrades are staggering. First up, fabric coverings. Yeah, you heard that right. Figure 03 can wear clothes. The trailer showed six different mannequin torsos with gray futuristic outfits, implying this robot can be customized for different roles. Want an industrial worker? Dress it one way? Need a home companion? Give it a softer look. This isn't just about making robots prettier, though that's part of it. It's about reducing that uncanny valley effect, making these machines feel less threatening and more approachable. Social media is already joking about buying jackets for their robots. Now let's talk about the feet, because this is where things get seriously technical and cool. Figure 03 has articulated toes, not flat robotic stumps, actual toes that move independently, just like Tesla's Optimus bot. And before you think that's a small detail, let me explain why this is absolutely huge for balance and agility. Previous robots walked flat-footed like ducks waddling around. Figure 03 can push off its toes and land heel to toe, mimicking actual human locomotion. That means smoother walking, faster movement, and way better stability on uneven surfaces. Imagine a robot that doesn't topple over when it encounters a slightly bumpy floor or a small obstacle. That's the difference articulated toes make. We're talking about a machine that can navigate your messy house without face planting into your furniture. But here's the crazy part about those feet. They're not just for walking, they're charging stations. Figure 03 supports inductive charging, which means wireless power transfer directly through the soles. According to insiders, this robot can recharge its batteries simply by standing on a special floor pad. No plugging in, no manual battery swaps, no downtime waiting for someone to hook up cables. Just stand on the mat, juice up, and get back to work. Think about what this enables. The robot could potentially operate almost continuously, taking quick charging breaks between tasks like a human grabbing a coffee. This is the kind of feature that transforms a cool prototype into something genuinely practical for real-world deployment. The hands are getting a major upgrade too, and this is where manipulation gets next level. Figure 03 has palm-mounted cameras. Embedded sensors right in the hands that give the robot vision at the point of contact. Imagine trying to pick up a fragile object without being able to see or feel exactly how you're gripping it. Now imagine having cameras and sensors telling you in real time exactly what your fingers are touching. That's what Figure 03 has. This enables precision grasping, delicate manipulation, the ability to handle tools with human-like finesse. We're talking about a robot that could theoretically crack an egg without getting shells everywhere or thread a needle if the AI is good enough. The dexterity leap this represents is genuinely staggering. And speaking of AI, let's talk about Helix. That's Figure's vision language action model, and it's been upgraded to handle end-to-end -end navigation and manipulation from video data. The company recently announced Project Go Big, where they're training robots on massive datasets of human videos. The result? Robots that can understand natural language commands like, go to the fridge and just do it, navigating cluttered spaces without manual programming. This isn't scripted movement. This is adaptive intelligence that learns from watching humans and applies those lessons in unpredictable environments. The AI brain powering figure 03 is designed to be a true generalist, capable of both moving through complex spaces and manipulating objects it's never seen before. If you're enjoying this deep dive, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It keeps you updated on the latest in AI and robotics. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Cost. 
Figure 02 was expensive to produce, probably somewhere around $80,000 per unit. Figure 03, they've achieved a 93% production cost reduction. Let that sink in for a second. 93% cheaper. That potentially brings the hardware cost down to single-digit thousands. We're talking about a price point that could realistically put humanoid robots in factories, warehouses, and eventually homes at scale. Brett Adcock, Figure's founder, has hinted at a future price around $20,000 per unit, comparable to buying a car. That's the kind of pricing that transforms this technology from a luxury experiment into a mass market product. Let me show you the evolution over time, because the progress is honestly breathtaking. Figure 01 was the prototype. Basic mobility, limited runtime, proof of concept. Figure 02 brought 16 degrees of freedom in the hands, six RGB cameras for vision, five-hour battery life, and real industrial deployments like at BMW factories running 10 plus hours daily. Now, figure 03 takes everything to another level. Same 16 degrees of freedom in the hands, but refined for better precision. Charging goes from battery packs to inductive feet. Sensing adds palm cameras to the existing camera array. The covering shifts from purely metallic to optional fabric outfits. Fixed toes become articulated for balance. The AI model expands from manipulation focus to full navigation plus manipulation learned from video. Runtime improves beyond five hours, though exact specs are still pending. And applications expand from purely industrial to industrial plus potential home companions. Each iteration looks neater, more refined, more ready for the real world. There's been some debate online about hand specifications, specifically degrees of freedom. Figure 03 maintains 16, while Tesla's Optimus boasts 22. Some people see this as figure falling behind, but here's the thing. More degrees of freedom doesn't automatically mean better performance. It's about how intelligently those movements are controlled and how well the AI can coordinate them. Figure's betting on software and sensing to outperform raw mechanical complexity. Time will tell who's right, but the early demos suggest their approach is working. Figure AI is calling this their first production-ready humanoid, built specifically for mass manufacturing. They've secured factory space, raised over a billion dollars at a $39 billion valuation, and have a roadmap to produce 12,000 units annually in initial production. They're targeting 100,000 robots deployed within four years serving commercial clients. This isn't vaporware. This is a company with capital, partnerships, and a clear path to scale. The robots are already working real jobs at places like BMW. Figure 03 is designed to accelerate that deployment from hundreds to thousands to potentially millions of units. So what does all this mean? We're witnessing the moment humanoid robots transition from impressive demos to practical tools that can actually do useful work in unstructured environments. Figure 03 represents the convergence of better hardware, smarter AI, and economically viable production. The trailer gave us a glimpse of that future, and honestly, it looks pretty incredible. Whether Figure becomes the leader in this space or gets overtaken by Tesla or someone else, the era of practical humanoid robots is here. And that should excite you, terrify you, and make you think really hard about what the next decade looks like. Because ready or not, the robots are coming. What if I told you that engineers violently attacking a robot, kicking it, punching it, throwing it to the ground, and the robot just kept getting back up like some kind of unstoppable Terminator? Well, that's exactly what just happened. Unitree Robotics dropped the most jaw-dropping robot demonstration we've ever seen. And what happened next will completely blow your mind. Picture this. You're watching what looks like a scene from a science fiction movie. A sleek silver humanoid robot stands calmly in a pristine white lab. Suddenly, an engineer runs up and delivers a brutal Spartan kick straight to its chest. The robot staggers backward, falls to the ground, and then something absolutely unreal happens. In less than half a second, this machine springs back to its feet like it's defying the laws of physics. No wobble, no hesitation, just pure fluid recovery that makes Olympic gymnasts look clumsy. This is the Unitree G1, and it just mastered something called anti-gravity mode. Now, before you roll your eyes thinking this is just marketing nonsense, let me tell you what this robot actually did. Engineers subjected this machine to what can only be described as robotic torture. They kicked it from every angle. Front kicks, side kicks, back kicks. 
They punched it in the torso. They hit it with sticks. They even grabbed it and literally threw it across the room like a rag doll. But here's the absolutely mind-blowing part. Every single time this robot hit the ground, it bounced back up within a second. We're talking about recovery times that are faster than most humans can even process. The robot would land on its back, perform this incredible kip-up motion that looked like breakdancing, and boom, standing upright ready for more punishment. And we're not talking about some massive clunky machine here. The Unitree G1 stands just 4.3 feet tall and weighs only 77 pounds. That's lighter than most teenagers, yet it's packing technology that makes it virtually indestructible. This thing has 23 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move and bend in ways that actually exceed human flexibility. The real kicker? This robot costs just $16,000. To put that in perspective, that's less than most people spend on a car, and you're getting a humanoid robot that can survive being kicked around like a soccer ball. Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot, which everyone considers the gold standard, isn't even for sale to regular people. But Unitree just made advanced robotics accessible to universities, researchers, and serious hobbyists. But here's where things get really crazy. This isn't just about making a robot that can take a beating. The anti-gravity mode represents a fundamental breakthrough in how machines interact with the chaotic real world. See, most robots are incredibly fragile. They work great in controlled environments, but the moment something unexpected happens, they're toast. A small push, an uneven surface, a slight miscalculation, and boom, expensive robot pancake. What Unitree has achieved is something called whole body control. The robot's artificial brain is constantly calculating thousands of variables every second. Where's my center of mass? Which direction am I falling? How do I redistribute my weight? Which joints need to fire to counter this force? It's like having the reflexes of a cat combined with the analytical power of a supercomputer. Quick break. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if these breakthroughs fascinate you. New stories are dropping every week. Now let's smoothly dive back into the video. The technology stack behind this is absolutely staggering. We're talking about impedance control that makes the robot's joints act like springs, absorbing impacts instead of breaking. There's a reactive footstep planner that repositions the robot's feet in fractions of a second. And the whole system is powered by reinforcement learning algorithms that have basically taught this robot how to fall and get back up like a martial arts master. Now, while Tesla and Figure are focusing on making robots that can fold your laundry and make you coffee, Unitree is taking a completely different approach. They're saying, look, before a robot can be useful in your home or workplace, it needs to survive the real world. And the real world is messy, unpredictable, and sometimes violent. Think about it. What good is a robot butler if it falls over and breaks every time your dog runs into it? How useful is a warehouse robot if it shuts down the entire operation every time it encounters an unexpected obstacle? Unitree is solving the foundational problem that makes all other robotic applications possible. But here's the controversial part that has the internet absolutely divided and people losing their minds. The demonstration video shows what looks like straight-up robot abuse that would make PETA protesters faint. Engineers are literally beating up the Unitree G1 for our entertainment like some twisted gladiator sport. Some people are asking, is this ethical? Are we normalizing violence against artificial beings? Others are saying, relax, it's just a machine. This is exactly the kind of testing that needs to happen. And then came the trolls, because the internet never disappoints. Social media exploded with critics saying, cool, but show me what it can really do. People started posting sarcastic comments like, great, so it can take a beating, but can it make me a sandwich? Others trolled with, this is just expensive robot abuse, where's the actual utility? But the most disturbing comments were people saying, this is the moment Skynet happened, and we're literally watching the birth of Terminator robots. The hate comments were flowing like water, with people demanding to see the Unitree G1 actually performing useful tasks instead of just surviving combat training, while others were genuinely terrified that we just witnessed the beginning of the robot apocalypse. The truth is, this kind of stress testing is absolutely essential for real-world deployment. Every robot that's going to work alongside humans needs to prove it can handle unexpected situations. 
construction sites, hospitals, homes with kids and pets, these are all environments where accidents happen. A robot that can't recover from being bumped, pushed, or knocked over is basically useless. And the applications for this technology are mind-blowing. Search and rescue operations where robots need to navigate collapsed buildings and debris. Military applications where machines need to survive in combat zones. Industrial settings where robots work alongside heavy machinery and fast-moving equipment. Even entertainment. Imagine robot athletes that could actually compete in extreme sports. But wait, there's more. The G1 didn't just demonstrate defensive capabilities. This robot performed consecutive backflips like some kind of robotic gymnast. We're talking about a machine that can launch itself into the air, rotate 360 degrees, and stick the landing with perfect balance. The combination of power, control, and recovery is absolutely unprecedented in robotics. What makes this even more impressive is that this anti-gravity mode was delivered as a software update. The same robot that was walking around normally a few weeks ago suddenly gained superhuman balance abilities through an over-the-air update. It's like if your smartphone suddenly learned how to fly just from downloading an app. The technical specifications are equally mind-blowing. This robot packs 90 newton meters of torque in each knee joint. That's enough force to lift a full-grown adult. It can carry up to 4.4 pounds in its arms while maintaining perfect balance. And its battery lasts for two full hours of continuous operation. Here's what really sets the G1 apart from the competition. While other companies are building robots for specific tasks, Unitree has created what they call an AI avatar platform. This machine is designed to learn and adapt. It can imitate human movements through demonstration. Show it how to dance, and it learns to dance. Teach it martial arts moves, and it becomes a robotic Bruce Lee. The implications for the future are staggering. We're looking at a world where robots won't just be tools, they'll be partners. Machines that can work alongside humans in any environment, handle any situation, and adapt to any challenge. And at $16,000, this technology is about to become accessible to a whole new generation of innovators and researchers. So the next time someone tells you that robots are fragile, expensive toys that only work in perfect conditions, show them this video.